to those for whom he was substitute. Now, if your premise is he is a substitute for all humanity, then there should be no punishment for all humanity because there is a substitute for all of them. But that's the absurdity of universal atonement. It will make the substitution of Christ the less meaningful because there are those for whom Christ substituted who ultimately will be punished after all. So that is an absurdity that is insurmountable as far as universal atonement is concerned. So what we can say, again, in charity to universalists, while meaning to enlarge the scope of the atonement, so we're not imputing to them a false motive and intention to lie, that's not the point. They have a large heart, so large that they want to enlarge more broadly than what God intended. So in their well-meaning effort to enlarge the scope of the atonement, what they do not realize is that they demean God's almighty will. So again, back to the choice. You limit the atonement. If you are an evangelical and not a consistent universalist, you will limit the atonement. So most will limit the power by universalizing the extent. I will argue in our next lecture after our Holy Week break that it is more biblical to see a particular extent of the atonement in order that we may safeguard the power and efficacy of the cross of Jesus Christ. Any question? Okay, ask your questions because Holy Break follows. Holy Week break follows. Let's take a break.